Reading. reading for pleasure is at an all-time low in the U.S. But here in Philadelphia, there's a unique program that makes reading easy and fun. Jane Jacobson shows us the short story ATM. A beautiful aeroplane with a pointed nose. My mini fresh and fragrant mistress. It's called Lift Every Voice and Sing. In a corner of the South Philadelphia Free Library, there's now a vending machine for literature. Think of it as Tales to Go. It's a little old, but it's a classic story. It sounds pretty cool to me. With the press of a button, users select a story that takes either one, three, or five minutes to read. Within seconds, the cylinder spits out a modern day papyrus scroll. Wow, that's a long one. Yeah. yeah. What I love about this project is that it gives us something a little bit old, a piece of paper, to have that tactile moment. Andrew Nurkin helped bring the kiosks to the Philadelphia Library. It uses a really interesting new technology, the kind of ATM machine of short stories, to make it delightful and joyful at the same time. What's old is new again. So yeah, exactly. In an effort to promote literacy, Philadelphia is one of four American cities installing the short story ATMs in public libraries. There are 35 dispensers in various locations across North America and 180 worldwide. Any minute that you can spend engaging with the written word um, is advancing literacy, and if it brings joy just for that minute or five minutes, that's great. This joie de vivre comes courtesy of French company Short Edition, which makes the machines and manages a catalog of more than 100,000 stories. Come sheep, oh sheep, the certain lot of peace. The tales vary in tone and style. I have felt real dread, which resembled all things being equal. That they could, that's pretty sad. <laughs> <laughs> they are free and guilt-free. Some people would say, oh no, this is bad, it's paper. Mm -hmm. But this isn't. No, so the paper is all environmentally friendly, the ink is biodegradable, so it's environmentally conscious and, and certainly recyclable. Film director Francis Ford Coppola is the godfather of short story ATMs. In 2016, he brought the first American dispenser to his cafe in San Francisco. I love the idea of a vending machine, a dispensing machine that doesn't dispense potato chips or beer or coffee for money but gives you art. Oh, this is from William Shakespeare. I was totally in the dark. First I bumped into my bed, then I bumped into my closet. In a constant and instant world, filled with transitory and transactional interactions, these stories transport us, if only for a minute. Dana Jacobson for CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Good stuff there. I love that. Instead mm. of scrolling on social media, you read a little short story. Exactly, exactly. Well